Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. We are up to the second part of the build of the Lego Friends Summer Riding Camp because this was one of those ginormous builds that I just had to break into two parts. So if you missed the first part, there's a little link up in the corner up with that eye. If you tap the eye, the link will come up and you can go there. And the link is also in the description box down the bottom. But don't forget to come back because we are now up to bag number six. And now we're gonna actually start building the summer riding camp itself. We've built all the outbuildings and the mini bus and we've met all the horses and the minifigures and the stables and the pasture and all of that stuff. But now we have to find out where the girls will actually learn and sleep while they are here at camp. So here is the very first of the rooms. Okay, the basic structure is taking shape very, very nicely. You can see a clearly defined doorway there, which Stephanie is now standing in and waving at you. Hello. And we'll keep building up. There are quite a few fabulous windows in this set in the actual riding camp school Lee part area. I don't know which what you'll call it here, but they make it lovely and airy and nice to be in. So there's the first of the windows and Emma's standing behind it and Ella is standing behind the other one. And we'll keep going up, we'll put all the walls in before we can put in all the interesting things that are going on inside this room. Let me see. Another archway here, double archway over the doorway. Check that out, that's cool. And all of the purple pieces along the top, or light lilac or lavender or whatever you want to call them. And then some more tan pieces to really build it up. a wonderful arch here and obviously after we've put on our nice smooth pieces and our connectors on the top we're going to put a sign out the front so that we know that this is the summer riding camp there it is there's their emblem their logo and a butterfly which is not on in a very good spot there we go a butterfly to flutter around the front archway <laughs> now this first room is actually the canteen or the cafeteria where the girls will go to have their meals and well, they're going to need first up a drinks machine so that they can get their drinks. They can choose either a yellow one or a green one. And how do I know that? Because the buttons are yellow and green and the little Lego cans are yellow and green. So I wonder what color, what flavors they are to go with those colors. What do you think? Could they be, um, I don't know, Solo and Limeade or something like that? I don't know, I can't decide. And here we have our area for the hot food and it's got some of these sausages and I cannot for the life of me get these sausages to stay in here safely and there are three green somethings what on earth would they be would they be lettuce or apples so they're gonna have a dinner or a lunch of sausages and apples <laughs> I don't know what do you think the green things are meant to be they're a bit of a mystery to me there is tomato sauce in the middle of the table, sorry, to the side of the table. And there is one croissant, which the girls are going to have to fight over. <laughs> They're gonna to have to share it out. And they've got all their little stools up. So let's sit them down at the table. Big long canteen cafeteria table. And Stephanie in the middle. And there is even a spot for Teresa on the end. There, everybody's comfy inside. They can have something to nibble on while we build out the front of this first room. Lots of flowers, very pretty flowers. No horses around at the moment to nibble on the flowers, so that's good. They might stay in one piece without any nibble marks in them. But there is a plate with something delicious in it just for hedgehogs. Because there's a cute little hedgehog out the front. That's brilliant. We are now up to bag number seven, which holds the very next room. What a surprise. I'm sure you were surprised to hear that. And there, we've got an entryway now, so we'll put Emma in there. She can supervise the rest of the build for this particular room. This is the second ground floor of the riding school. 
and this room is very important because it is the classroom where they are going to go to learn all the things that they're going to need to know about horses and horse care in theory before they go out and do the practical application of their skills. So they learn about it and then they go and do it, which is pretty fun. But we've got to build the actual room for the classroom. <laughs> so we've got a lot of work to do. That's a very nice archway. Can you see there's a gap between there? But there are going to be no horses in this classroom. It is not for horses. <laughs> it is just the right size for Lego Friends girls. So horses out, girls in. And I kind of think that might be a little bit unfair because the horses might want to come over here and look at the ribbons that they've won. Look at that. There's the first place ribbon, the second place rosette. And down here on the ground, on its own special pedestal, is the trophy area. Here's a nice tall one for the gold. We've knocked off the rosette. The gold cup and there are some silver cups here too. Wow, look, Stephanie's coming to check that out. It is so remarkable and fabulous. These horses have won some prizes indeed. Now the other side, we're going to need some of the classroom things. So the display's on one side. The other side we're going to need, let me just finish up the top here. And then we can put on our blackboard. Now this is actually a printed piece, which is pretty cool got a nice ledge on the bottom to hold all the chalk of which none comes with it but look at that there is a blackboard so now we need somewhere for the students to sit while they are learning so there we have two long stools for them to perch on while they are paying attention to the teacher and they don't look really comfortable so hopefully they won't be sitting there for an extended period of time <laughs> but Teresa is in here teaching and <laughs> Foxy snuck in there to have a check out what was being taught in the class make sure it's going on properly but Foxy's now at the front making sure that I do the rest of this build properly which is a good idea because I do need supervision at the best of times <laughs> yes that looks good that might even be you is that you in that picture there's now a very sweet little butterfly down the bottom and of course some more flowers and a lady beetle on that one and a matching one on the other side don't nibble on the lady beetles but Foxy no 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 not on the lady beetles that would be not very good for them so these two don't actually hook in together they're just designed to sit next to each other so you can rearrange them however you want them to be you can stack them on top of each other or you can have them beside each other which sort of rules out that that window there but we are now up to bag number eight we are doing a great job we're up to the next room Now this is the first of the upstairs rooms and if you watch the first video you will be aware of the fact that the bathroom is not actually inside the main building itself it's out off to the side in a little outhouse which will be great fun in the middle of the night when it's nice and cold and there are all sorts of creepy sounds <laughs> so neither of these are going to have any bathroom elements or maybe a little bit we'll have to see but these are the bedrooms for camping they're gonna have so much fun. They're gonna have midnight feasts, maybe. They might be too exhausted from all of their day work as well. Another fabulous window. Yep, peek out of there for me, Ella. And one matching on the other side. Very good, walls are done. Now just putting our smooth top on with the connectors. As you can see, all of these rooms can be put wherever you want. You can stack them on top of each other. It's up to you. Now this is, I assume, the master bedroom area because it's got two double beds. I think they're double beds. They might be single and a half. They're very small double beds. <laughs> and you can have one over here, which Stephanie is trying out. And we will build a matching one for the other side. Ella out of the way and there we have two beds so that's the first dormitory room which looks very cozy and snug it also gets a little balcony over here that's very swish with some very nice buckets to hold yes of course to hold some more flowers with lady beetles so pretty so summery so very cheerful 
Excellent. So you can try out the fresh air on the balcony and overlook the riding school while we put this up here on top of and there we go that goes very nicely on top of the classroom but we could of course put it wherever we like now we have got um well we do need another room on the other side but that room is not actually finished it gets a very very high uh ceiling a display area you'll just have to look and see and then you'll understand what on earth i'm on about <laughs> What is Ellie just rambling about? Nobody knows. Got a very sweet arched window here for an extra bit of light way, way up high in the ceiling. All the way up to the peaked rooftop. And here we have got a great big picture. And another bucket with, <laughs> with some more flowers, a flag on the top. And this goes up, 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 all the way on the top to finish off that room so have a look on the inside so see how high that is now that looks spectacular i really like that right bag nine time for the other dormitory where the other girls are going to sleep looking very very nice now there's no little balcony on this one that's special for the other room but there are lots more windows so there's a double amount of windows here which is just lovely I really like that there just try and squeeze some bricks in between here and then we shall layer them along the top and we are almost, almost ready to start putting in the fun things that go in this room. Just the last smooths and the connectors. And there we are. Emma is in here waiting to find out what the beds in here are going to look like. Can you guess what sort of beds are traditional for a, uh, <laughs> for a camp dormitory room? colorful ones so there's one bed and on the top of that bed Emma is in there looking very comfy there's enough room there on the top is the next level so it's bunk beds yay it's bunk bed time <laughs> we'll put Teresa up here and we put that right in the corner of the room that's very nice and this room also gets a little sink for washing up hands without having to go all the way out to the bathroom block which is nice there all right and we put that over here and that's it the rooms are pretty sparse because it is a camp after all but they've got everything you need to stay overnight and of course we've got some more buckets with flowers yay <laughs> and butterflies on these hello Teresa what do you think does it look really good let's put it up here on top of the canteen area next to its matching one and there are a couple of windows there side by side but we also need the roof area for this as well. So let's do that. <laughs> you would think I'd know how to build this because I'd already built the last one and they do match in the design, but no, no, that would require my brain working properly. Mm, what have I done here? There we go. Okay, that's looking right <laughs> for now. This one gets a different picture. It's got one of all of the horses with the rosettes as well. I love the shiny components on these stickers. They're very, very pretty, very eye-catching. This one has got a clock on the outside and a nice little arch, little peaked arch. And it needs the obligatory flag. And do we have anywhere to put flowers on this one? We don't, because we've got the clock face on the outside. Perfect, let's have a look on the inside. They look great. That looks so cozy and fun. 
That's fantastic. Well, there you are. We've done it. We've built the whole thing, which means we've really got to play with it. But before we do that, because there was so much, let's look. So we've got the main bedroom, we've got the bedroom with the dormitory bunks, we've got the canteen and the schoolroom, and we can stack them however we want. There was the, yep, the uh, bathroom block with the toilet, very funny toilet, and the shower room. And also the horse uh, grooming area, so horse care area where all of their saddles and their, their reins are kept. There is the pasture fence, whatever you call it, for keeping the horses in. And there are our three horses. We'll move that over. Oh, don't tip the horses over. Poor horsies. <laughs> and there is the pony cart so that we can go for a ride on that. There is the enormously fancy front gate. And there is the campfire section with the marshmallows and the hot chocolate. There's also the couple of boxes here, which is a bit strange. You should have four of them because there are four girls. But anyway, and the four girls, of course, there's Teresa and Emma and Ella and Stephanie. And is that everything? Um, I think it looks pretty cluttered. Oh, we forgot the minibus. The minibus was so cranky that we forgot it. We came in and ran over all the girls. <laughs> but they're okay. Here we go, off for summer riding camp. Are you excited? I am. Here come the girls in the minibus, all packed up to the hilt with everything they're going to need for their camping fun. And they are super snug in here. Are they going to be able to get out? Ah, uh, yes, here they are. They're safely out and they're being greeted by Teresa. You're going to need to unpack the minibus now and get all of your belongings. Stephanie's got her bag and Ella and Emma are going to take in that gigantic trunk full of such important things. <laughs> and Emma has claimed the top bunk. Ella is fine with that because she likes being on the bottom because it's nice and easy to get in and out of without falling. <laughs> And they're trying them out for comfort and they do look very, very cozy in there. They're gonna have a really fabulous time, maybe even a midnight feast. Hmm, it's gonna be a bit hard to uh, get Stephanie to sneak out because she's actually sharing this room with Teresa, but I'm sure they can figure something out. <laughs> now, before they go and ride the horses, they need to learn all about what they need to know. I have no idea what was written on that board. It has nothing to do with learning about horses. In fact, the horses themselves are entirely confused and bemused about what the girls are learning, but that's all right. <laughs> what is Foxy doing? A bit of a snack before they go. Looks like Emma's having the croissant and Stephanie is having the sausage <laughs> and Ella is eating the unidentifiable green thing, which she has now taken out to feed to Foxy, which might be a good idea. And Champion is having a lovely apple. Mm -mm. I think these girls are going to love these horses, don't you? It's horse riding time! Hooray! Emma is just sitting out waiting her turn for now, but Ella and Stephanie are keen to be off. Off they go. Now it must be Emma's turn. She looks ready, she's all mounted up. Off you go, go and join the other girls. Wow, best summer camp ever. Look at these girls out riding the horses. That is so awesome. Off they go. And now because they have finished their riding, they've got to learn to brush the horses down properly, give them a good grooming, make sure that they are wonderful and clean and sweat free. And now they've done that, hmm, they might have a plan with all of the accessories that are in this ginormous trunk. <laughs> And everyone looks very pretty <laughs> and covered in pink bows. That's too many pink bows. That's, that's, that's bordering on the absurd, <laughs> but it is really fun. And now it is time for a campfire and toasted marshmallows and hot chocolate and a big, wonderful wind down before snugging up in their cozy camp beds. They are going to have just the best summer ever. Thank you so much for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed it. Please click subscribe and click like. Do check out some of our other silly videos and I'm going to see you with another one really very, very soon.